Hello everybody, I'm Katie and Keown, and welcome back to the channel with another episode of Derail Valley. So uh, today, we've got a mission. We're going to go open up Bob's garage, which I think is right there. We're going to take just kind of a quick, quick and dirty job to get us over there. To We're going to take a job going to MF, which is going to be this logistics hall, which means... We need to come in here and we need to grab the logistics hall. Oop, I forgot about our fees. We gotta clear those first. Ah! I don't know why I keep hitting the dash button instead of the button I want. Alright, so now we should go to licenses. We need logistics. Beautiful. And then if we and then we need train length one. Beautiful. And then we've got another twenty thousand on us, so do we want let's see, what else do we can we get? Well for twenty thousand we can get manual service. Or we could get train length two. Or concurrent orders two. Uh, let's hold off. For now. Yeah, let's let's hold off. Don't want to overdo it. Let's go ahead and accept our job. I went ahead and lined our car our train up. So we should, or our locomotive, I mean. So if I went to the correct place, this should be the 993 for order GFLH20. GFLH20. This is our load. We're dropping B1S. We're dropping in B1S in the machine factory. Whoop, come on. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna make some decent money because we're going from GF all the way over to Machine Factory. And we're gonna go... How much time do we have to do this load? If we've got... A decent amount. We might take the long way. 77 minutes. We might take the long way so we don't... I'm thinking let's try the long way. Go down through the steel mill. Through the farm. Oil well. No, let's, let's do it the correct way. Let's go... Let's go up. Alright. So let's get ourselves... Situated here. Uh, where are that there? No, that's a headlight. Uh, wipers. God, I'm trying to remember all the where all the switches and stuff are. Oh, there we go. But we gotta go turn on. Lubricator and the dynamo. Let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. Should be pretty warm already. I can't imagine. I just started it up. look here. Oh, lubricator's still not on. I keep forgetting the lubricator. Where is that? Oh, right there. Oh, gotcha. There 
And that's probably good on venting. So a handbrake. And away we go. Yeah, we're off. Like heavier than I expected. That was kind of a slow start. Is this how? What's the weight? 138 tons. Eh, maybe. Maybe a small start was, or a slow start was kind of expected there, but. So while that's building up speed, let's run down here. Really quickly, like. I just get way ahead of this because I know I'm gonna forget when I get down this hill so switch that bad boy I always forget that switch that's another switch I'm constantly blowing myself up on Ooh. got that speed going now What is our speed? 50? That many beans. <laughs> we want to get in the. We want to get into the siding. We don't want to fly through the siding. Let's see here, which we're still gonna do here. We need to. It's gonna really slow us down, I know, but we need to at least be doing like 40 before we hit that turn. At least try to be doing 40. It does say it's a 60. Water glass is fine. Fire temp is fine. About 12 bar. All right, that should be good. I think now we just generally kind of cruise our way up. We're not going to go through the steel mill, but I think instead of going, instead of taking, going up through here and up and around, we're going to go up through and we'll take a slightly longer, we won't go, because my original thought for the long way was to come all the way down here. Let's just take the mid route. I think we can do that. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, let's take the mid route. A little water. Now let's get that f that fire heat up. Or the not the fire heat. We need to get the fire's temperature up. There 
we go. Now we're talking. So this is all going to be an uphill for us. Luckily we got a particularly... It's not a heavy, heavy load, but... Gotta make the old girl work here. Look at her chugging along. that. I gotta try to remember to talk when I'm in third person because I could just sit and stare at that running gear all freaking day. I really could. That's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful simulator. Alright, let's see here. It should be running close to a switch coming up. There's big giant windows here. Oop. Is it facing the right way? I think it's facing the right way. Going left. Beautiful. Okay, we probably should have slowed down a little bit on that. I think, uh... We probably need to slow down now. I think by sheer luck we hadn't derailed that. Did we? No, I think we did derail. Did we lose a car? We lost the car, yep. Oh. Alright, hold up, hold up. Full stop, full stop, full stop. Full stop. Ugh, dead in a tunnel. That's not a good thing, but we gotta go fix this. Oh, man. Yeah, I knew we were... Yeah, we whipped around that corner way too fast. Alright, so... we can, Luckily, we got our fancy tool here. It costs money, which just means that we did the... We made the right choice not paying for another license. Alright, so... Break off. Oh, crap. Might have to back it up. Might have to back the train up. Oh, no, we might be able to connect this one at least. Why is this one not rolling? You'd think it would roll. We're on a downhill, but... Alright, let's back it up. Sight glass... Ah, our first official derailment, and it wasn't even spectacular. Okay, that's...
that's probably good. We'll go ahead and... Are we not... What's going on here? Cylinder cocks... Oh! Fire went out. Well, that explained why I wasn't getting the cylinder cocks working. Ah, buttons. Okay. So let's let them do. Let's let the cylinder cocks do their thing. Come back here, rehook up the last car. I uh, yeah. I, I I was hoping we didn't, but I started noticing we were losing speed way too quickly, and that's when I was like, yeah, we definitely uh. We definitely lost the back few. We lost the tracks a little bit there. Although, to be fair, that could have definitely gone significantly worse. All right. Whoop. Now we should be able to start rolling again. Ah, righty then. Come on, old girl. There we go. I'm going to be entirely honest. We're going to go ahead. That should have... Yeah, okay. We're going to take it really easy on the fire at right now because... We're going downhill, so we can utilize... We'll just utilize our little downhill thing here. Now, a neat feature I want to show off real quick that I keep forgetting about sometimes is they modeled the brake shoes. I don't know if uh, we're going to be going fast enough to overheat them, but... Nope, I guess not. They modeled the brake shoes in the game, so you can overheat your brake shoes, and they look like they're fiery red hot when you do it. It's really kind of cool, actually. Where are we at? Oh, we're coming around the bend, so the next bend is going to be the farm. I think we're going to be going straight through now. Yeah, that way. Gonna cut that way. Straight through, straight through. Beautiful. That's what we want. Hopefully we're not traveling too absurd, but that's what we want is to just kind of cut right through. We're not going to try and stop and pick up another load. I want to get through this, and then I want to go try and see if we can get the caboose. I think it's the caboose that we've got access to now. Bob's garage is basically where we're going, whether it's the caboose or not. Let's go ahead and kill that. And watch ourselves go through the station because I love this kind of stuff. Just watching the choo choo make its way through. Give enough gas to maintain, or enough steam to maintain speed. Oh, this is so beautiful! Look at this thing. Uh, if I had the space for it, I would have such a massive model railroad set I couldn't even I couldn't even imagine 
I, I, I would dead ass be that guy that would have like just a massive, like just the biggest freaking basement you've ever seen in your life. And it's just nothing but model trains going everywhere. Like a whole freaking museum down there, but just all model trains. That would absolutely 100% be me. I've even thought about going so far as setting up um, what I call miniature logging industry, where I go out and cut down real little tiny, like one inch trees and plane them down into real, like to scale two by fours and get like real, like I would do real wood for that. Oh, and I would have so much fun. That would be, that would be a time, the time of my life for me. And you better, you bet your ass I'd have a tiny little 060, uh, yeah, a little 060 like this. The cute little shunter. Oh, man. I love these shunters. I like the big ones, too. Like, don't get me wrong. I absolutely love my big boy. The 4884 big boy. Love that thing. But I'd like my little ones too. I like my little locomotives too. I thought this switch was closer actually. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So this should be, yeah, so let's take this. Because then that way we can go straight up into where we're going. And then when we drop off the cars on our way through. drop our we can drop the cars on our way through and then just keep going north without another load and check out to see if we can find the, the garage just double check in here I know some purists might be mad that I use that mode but I really need it I'm not, I'm not good enough like Heiss. I've got to, I've got to cheat a little, otherwise I'm going to be blowing it up every two seconds. I got to make sure I've got it going correctly. Chug, 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 choo-choo, baby, choo-choo, baby. That's what I tell you now, choo-choo, baby. I miss, so I was, br I brought this up with my brother the other day. Something I miss is 1.6.4 Minecraft had a, had a train mod that was so good. I mean, the only part of it that was a bit obnoxious was that if you had a train, like you could get the big boy and it would flip an absolute 90 when it, when you made a turn, you had to do a diagonal and then a turn, which was fine. That makes sense. But it just, it looks so stupid if you flip the train on a 90. And, uh, but, God, I love that mod so much. One of the things about that mod that, uh, I really liked, and it sounds weird, but it gave me a reason to want more coal. Because it had multiple steam trains. And they would burn through coal, like a lot of coal. And uh, it would, doing that, it gave me a reason to have, you know, a hundred thousand tons of coal. Oh, we have got, yep, so this is why I need this. We're down to three, what is it? We are out of steam. Right, let's back this off. We need to chill and build up steam pressure again because we are out entirely. Yeah, 
Yeah, I should have been paying attention to that. Anyway, the Minecraft... Uh, the Minecraft train mod was super freaking fun. I loved it so much. It had so many cool things to it. You got the big boy, and then there was like a, a 48... A 482 steam locomotive. Uh, there was a couple diesels you could use. There was one where it was like a, a, a 3x3 underground mining rig. And as long as you kept it feeding it coal and rails, it would keep digging one block at a time in a straight line. Oh, it was so cool. There we go. Ah! I managed to hit almost every freaking button other than the one that I need. Now we're building up pressure. Alright, now we're talking. We don't need to go full freaking bore though. water again. This is it downhill? I think so. See, the other thing, too, is it's hard to tell what's on and what's off on things, which is also why I use this. Because now I know things are off. Because now, ironically, we're far enough along, we don't need full bore on our water pressure. Or steam pressure, I mean. Oh, yeah. This game is so fantastic. I keep trying to th I keep trying to talk and then I get lost in thought because it's like this game just enraptures me. This is the stuff that I love so much. This is why I play games because then I can also be a complete dumbass and blow this shit up because I don't know what the hell I'm doing and not die. Whoa. Oh. Uh oh. Run away. Run away. There we go. Oh crap! Oh, we're doing it again! Oh, we're gonna derail hard! Oh! That was close. That was dangerously close. <laughs> that would have been a spectacular place to derail, right off that bridge into the water. Kaploosh. That would have been so stupid. Get a little bit of heat going on that fire. Tiny bit of gas. Or, I keep saying gas because I'm a trucker and I, I, I deal with diesel. So I just, you know, give it the gas, give it the beans. But I guess it's steam in this case. I know, I'm going to piss off some people. I say it every episode. I'm going to drive a little bit in third person, so personal preference. My video game, my channel. Suck it. <laughs> turn on. Turn down the hit. Turn down for what? Guess we don't need the brights on.
So, we should... Oh, we got a ways to go yet. I don't know if we'll make our time bonus, I'll, I'll be honest. Taking the long way around, around, I don't know if we'll make our time bonus, but... I'm more concerned about the fact that we might actually run out of water and fuel AGAIN! This is why we need to upgrade to the bigger train, so we can go places without running out of shit. <laughs> good news, though, is right now we're barely consuming anything. And I've got no reason to slow us down, so we're gonna keep just coasting this hill. Letting, them beautiful, letting that beautiful running gear roll pretty quickly. Look at that stuff. God, I, I, I so wish I was born, like, 20s, 30s, 40s, where I could drive these old trains. Uh, that would be... I'd be that 70-year-old, that 80-year-old guy who retires from the railroad after doing it since he was 12. That would so be me. Old railroad man. So I am looking at, the one thing I am, I am looking at doing, I keep getting sidetracked, so I keep looking and then I keep not getting it. I'm going to get a mod manager and I'm going to try and install uh, two, two mods. I'm looking for a mod that will let me drive multiple trains using one control set. So like if I had another S060 hooked up, and it would be like train, so two 060s, not an 060 and a 282, right? Not an 060 and a diesel. I would need them to be the same type of locomotive. That's my restriction. But I'm looking for something that will allow me to hook up two of the same type that aren't the uh, diesel electrics and drive them as if I've just got, you know, two foot plate crews running the end locomotives and allow me to do multiple steam locomotives, which I think would be super freaking cool. Um, the other mod I want to look at getting is one that changes how the trains spawn into the game. One thing that's really annoying to me is that they, tr they spawn in randomly at all the different locations, which that's fine. That's fine. But then if you leave your locomotive alone, which is why I cleared the DM3, my, by the way, and the DE2s that we previously had instead of leaving them, because the way the game is set up now, if you leave a, a train alone for, I think it's like two hours, either in-game or, I think it's two hours out-game, out though. I think it's like two hours uh, real-time. If you leave your train alone or your locomotive alone for two hours, it despawns flat out, whether you want to keep it or not. And I hate that, because I want to look at the I go. I want to go back and say, all right, let's take the old L057 out, rather than just all right. Let's see what other random, random one we find. You know. All right, we probably need to start slowing down a little bit here. We've got we're going a bit spicy. Just a bit spicy here. And that's a bit of a sharp turn, so slowing down isn't gonna hurt us. Man, I still, I have been trying to overheat these brakes when I use them. And I can't get them to overheat so I can show you what they do. <laughs> I mean, if you've watched Heiss's videos, you've probably seen it, because I think he does it on one of them, but About 68's fine. We'll go 65 with a two with a two. Did 
Nope, let's just turn it to an 84 with a 4. There we go. Let's maintain that speed, shall we? There we go. Ah, that's gonna be a crappy picture because of the tree. I like taking pictures. Let's get a close up. All right, so we should be, to be honest, I think we're coming up on, we are coming up on the switch, okay. It's actually good that we're slowing down a bit. Let's hop out here and have a, oh, we're gonna have to go in reverse, okay. Well, that kind of backfired my plan a little bit. Now I'm really going to be driving in third person because I, I'm not doing the reverse in, in uh, first person. Oh, come on. I'm in, the tr I'm in the locomotive. Come on. There we go. All right, let's turn up that injector because now we're running low on water. Come on. Oh, it's just not wanting to come to a stop. All right, now that we got that done. Glorious, now we. <laughs> Let's get the heat going here, build up a little bit of uh, Build up a little bit of the pressure in this boiler. Alrighty, let's give it some gas. Kill that brake. Come on. You can do it. Full throttle with some sand will make sure you got plenty of traction to get it going. We're gonna be spitting out some sparks, but we'll do it. There we go. Back off on that injector. Honestly, full heat, we need as much. There we go. Now we're going. Well, whoopsie doodles. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's cut that down to a four and let it run its course. So then that brings to mind the question now of... Probably gonna need to go hit that switch. Yeah, I think we're gonna need to go. Let's uh, let's go make sure we don't have the same. Ooh, that is right there. Let's uh, let's check that bad boy. That's going the correct way. Cool. That was. Ironically, the opposite of what we had at the other switch. Way closer than expected. 
Alrighty, we need to put this bad boy down so we have at least some light back here. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like we're coming in toasty, so let's get back to that... Let's get back to the old loco and see how she's doing. Hey, old girl! Whoa, don't run away without me! No, 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 come back! Where are you going? Here we go. Okay, I'm in. Oh, I've abused the hell out of you, haven't I? You poor girl, come on. Alright, back to the... Let's go ahead and slow it down here. Oh, this poor abused locomotive. I am not a good train driver, like, at all. I got plenty of water. We're going into MF, so where is the MF map? Oh, here we go, it's the next one. And we need, what is it, B? B1S, okay. Ugh, let's slow this down here and see where we're... Alright, we're coming in from the south. So we need to go... over. All the way through and over. I suppose that's going to take us into. Ah, this is the B row. Okay. So where's. That's C. Is this B1S right here? What is this? That's B40, B50, B6S. Tell me we're having to... Oh, B1S. There we go. Okay, so... That one should be correct. That one needs to switch. Uh, that one's A-OK. -okay. So where's the train at? Did I grab my lantern? Nope. So that must be the train then. Oh, crap! Hang on a minute. Whoa! Whoopsie! <laughs> that almost went badly. Start letting it roll back downhill. Down the hill. <sighs> okay. Oh, we're out of water! Yay! We're out of water again. At least we're not quite out of coal. And we shouldn't need a full fire going either, so we should be... We're probably fine now. To the point that what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Ah, crap. We're going to... Oh, we're going to crash this so freaking hard. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're, oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Clear that. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice, nice kerchunk right there. 78.6. Nice. Nice uh, impact, I'd say. We're going to go, we're going to overshoot it, too. Oh, how fantastic. Oh, that was, that wasn't, that wasn't good. Um, yeah, that wasn't good at all. Let's, uh, let's go find the shop, I suppose, which I think is up here.
That's the military area. Is it this building? No. Military office? No. Oh, there it is. Uh, well, did it work enough that we can just get paid? Yes, it did. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, we got paid quite a bit, though, and then we'll go ahead. Fees. So, for anyone who's curious, I did turn down the fees, because, again, um, I just wanted a casual gameplay, so it's not going to get obnoxiously expensive. And I might do a more hardcore game later or next time, or I don't know what I'll do. I just wanted to... Honestly, I just wanted to have a, a nice, relaxing... Headline, deadline total. Uh, well, each license removes some of that, doesn't it? I wanted to have a nice relaxing playthrough, basically. Yeah, I think. All right, let's. Uh... We got 40,000 again. Which means. We could buy both of those, or we could buy Hazmat 1, which is kind of what I wanted to do, to be honest. Let's do that. Let's get Hazmat 1. Let's buy Hazmat 1, and then maybe next time we'll, uh, we'll do something dangerous. But, now! Now we're free roam. Now we've got a secondary mission. Where's the old girl? The old... Hi, at Choo Choo. All right. Let's do this. We're going to go shovel, shovel, fire. I don't care what direction we're facing at the moment. I kind of, I do kind of wish we were going the other way, but I can work with this. So I think we need to pull forward. Let's go find what's at Bob's, because I, I think if I remember correctly, I'm gonna be kind of mad if it's not Bob's garage, but if, if where I'm thinking is correct, then it's Bob's garage, and we should be fine. Oh, that's going the correct way. Okay. It's that one we need to change. Uh, that, that, okay, so that should take us straight through. I'm committing, I'm committing full hog. 60, 60, we're doing 60, so I hope there's nothing in the way. <laughs> I, I committed the full beans. Uh... I hope we make this corner without derailing. That'd be that'd be kind of on point, wouldn't it? Just we're done with the actual job. Now we just derail in the in the in the yard cuz I'm being a dumbass. I love that whistle. So cute. So now I guess in theory well, not necessarily in theory. Now we should just basically go until we get... We're going up here. We're going up here. So we go until we hit the next siding, I guess. Or the next uh, switch. How fast can we get it to go? I'm kind of curious. 
What's the speed limit? 80? Well, shoot. I don't mind doing 80. We're not we're not doing anything too crazy, so let's let's uh let's not spare the horses as they say. Full water, full coal, full heat, full everything. Yeah! Well this is officially the fastest I've gone in the little guy. I've gotten the big steam engine up to a hundred uh a hundred kilometers an hour. Cause I think ooh, I jumped out of the train. Not good. Get back in the train! I jumped out again. Ah! Run away! Run away, locomotive! Okay, I'm on. Stop the train! Stop the train! We went right past where we wanted to go. Stop the train. Oh, we derailed! We derailed! We de. Oh! Oh! I can't see what happened. But we I think we totally just flew off the Oh, I left my lantern. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing some spaghetti. Uh Ah, oh, yeah, that's Oh, our poor choo choo. Oh, wow, we went way too freaking fast. Let's see if we can we get back in her. Is it not gonna let us back in because she's dead now? We 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 blew, we blew up our choo choo up. Ah, uh, we're in. Oh, look at her. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, this was, uh... This was definitely, uh... I shouldn't have... shouldn't have tried jumping out of the train. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the train now. There we go. Okay, where are we? We're back now where we... Okay, cool. So we're not too far actually away from where we wanted to go. We're just less dead and stupid this time, so... I say that and then I think I just... Did I just blow our cylinders? No, we're good. All right, stay on the flipping train this time. And we don't need to be doing mock Jesus. That was fun, but clearly uh, we're not ready for mock Jesus. <laughs> we want the bigger train for that. I guess this is this is might be a downgrade. That might also be why we were going so fast. Yeah, so here's where we wanted to stop before we uh before we grew some wings and flew off the tracks all of Red Bull. We we thought we were we thought we were all Red Bull, but in reality we were just sad. Oh, I jumped out of the train again. No, nope, come back. You're not going fast enough to blow up this time, but that's still not good. That F it's F button is the the jump button is F. And if you hit that on accident, man, you just go flying. All right, so let's do this. I, cr 
crackling's got me feeling all weird. I don't know if that's... Close that fire door, I suppose. Alright. What? We're going the wrong way. Alrighty. Well, that was stupid, but at least we're going the right way now. see what's in this garage. I don't know how much room we've actually... I kind of wish we did this during the day. I keep trying to do during the day, but, uh... I keep... I need to remember to, like, because you can go to bed in this game and sleep the night away. I gotta... I gotta remember. Maybe that... I'll, I'll do that next episode, so we're not doing all this dark... this dark train riding, because it's like the past... What has it been? The past three or four episodes have all been in the at night in the dark. Wait. What? Hold up. There's another there's another switch. No, there isn't. Oh, that must just be the garage we're coming up on. Okay. I need to go get our lantern from the city at some point. Luckily, there's a lost... There's a... Not a... Is it, I think it's like a lost and found. Recover lost items feature in the game. So what's the... Oh, that's just a dead track. Okay. So are we turned into the correct one? Yeah, alright. So let's... We're gonna creep, or am I gonna have to give it some gas, some diesel, some steam? Give it some, some of that steam. Old Bob's Garage. So that should be. Old Bob's Garage Key. All right, let's see what we got. I think see what it is without opening it oh ah that's not a caboose oh you gypped me old Bob it's a hand car <laughs> What the? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> well, kerthunk. Uh. Well then, it's a hand car. We got ourselves a hand car. I thought this was a caboose. Because I know there's a caboose in this game, so I, I wonder then... Well, that's the brakes. I do wonder then, does that mean... I'm kind of curious here. I want to do a quick experiment. Let's... Turn that off. Dump the fire. This is interesting. I don't know how powerful the hand car is. That's what I'm about to test. I'm curious, can I push a... Alright, that should be all the brakes now off. I know there's a caboose we can get, so it must be in 
Reginald's gar there's like another garage we can go to. What the? Oh. Hang on a minute. How does this work? Oh, there it goes. It doesn't want to do it. It's pretty darn fast once you get it moving, but it certainly doesn't want to push or pull or anything. Well, that's, uh... That's not what that was, I... That's not... I'm kind of disappointed now, because it's not what I thought that was going to be. I, I wanted, uh... I'll be honest, I wanted the caboose. So... Alright, I'm going to go ahead and clear this current locomotive. Goodbye, old girl. We're going to go pick up another... We're going to go pick up another locomotive because we've got... We've got a hazmat. Let's run back. How much cash do we have? 20,000. I think we can get multi-unit. And the next episode, we're going to try, I think, multi-unit. Because I think... Whoop. Uh, way, way past the city. Hang on a minute. Why well, I'm curious. What trains do they have available here? So, the train yard is going to be this way. It's probably going to be the big ones, because this is a... Yep. Yeah. That's what I thought. DE6, DH4. That's another DE2. That's a DE6. This is one of the this is the round one of the places with a roundhouse. Well, there are two DE2s, so if we get multi-unit, we can do multi-unit. Which we probably will do. Ah, I keep running into walls. Sorry about that, folks. Uh let me have a quick looky here. What do we got for Ah, we can't do multiple unit. <laughs> Crap. Plus, if I remember correctly, we also got fees to clear now that we moved the train. Ah, uh, not bad, though. Alright, well. Well, we'll see what we want to do. We'll probably just do another quick load somewhere. We've got a food factory. That's a... Freight hall, but they're empty. It says empty. Oh, but the contain the cars themselves are not empty. Oh, I got it. Okay. That's always confusing because it's like deliver empty containers. It's not a logistics hall though. But we might go to Iron Mine. I don't know. We'll see. One thing we can do. So here's the Lost and Found hood, uh, hut. Recover our lantern. And I think... So if we're at the station office near D&C, which I think that's what this is, then the shop is over here. No, it's not. Is it over here? There needs to... That is one thing uh, the developers of this game need to severely improve. Like, seriously improve. Not severely. Seriously. Is uh, how to find the freaking buildings in this game. I don't care that they put the shop and the station offices separate. But then they need to kind of make it so you can find the damn place. Uh, is it down here then? Like, way down here? I suppose after I play this more, though, I'll get more familiar with where... where all the individual buildings actually are. 
at each individual location because I know where like some of them. Like I, I'm pretty confident I know where the harbor stuff is because I've been at the harbor enough. Uh, I'm walking aimlessly around this the city. I don't, I don't know. I'm that weird. Oh, here it is. Blue building. I recognize. There we go. Flashlight, EOT, lantern, locomotive remote. This one doesn't have a key. Well, there's no key here, so it means it's somewhere else. What that tells me is it's unlikely that's a garage, but I've never been there to test that theory. I think this might be a garage over here. I don't know where any others would be, so my guess would be that has to be one. That's def I think that's where the slug's at. That must be where the caboose is at, and I bet you the caboose key is actually in CSW. And then Harbor f Harbor's probably got the slug. So the slug is kind of interesting. It's a, it's a, well, I'll explain it later. We're a ways from getting the slug. All right. Well, thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a, this has been a, a, a kind of a disappointing episode. I was wanting the caboose. I wanted my caboose, but instead we, uh, we blew up the train without any cars to collapse in on it. Kind of an anticlimactic first explosion of a steam locomotive, I feel. We, uh... I guess we technically derailed twice. Oh, now I see. Now I lost track of where the station is. Oh, there it is. Um, we technically derailed twice in Derail Valley. Finally. <laughs> I'll see you all again next time. Uh, yeah. Bye.